Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the HP TouchSmart 520 All-in-One Desktop. We've said before that All-in-Ones are no longer the performance-limited systems with bulky monitors or weak processors. Nowadays, All-in-Ones are sleeker, smaller, and much more powerful. Late last year, we reviewed the HP TouchSmart 610, an impressive system that HP had redesigned from the ground up to take advantage of its TouchSmart software. Today we get to take a look at its lighter, smaller sibling, which packs subtle but distinct differences. The big question is, is this the all-in-one that's right for you? The HP TouchSmart 520 all-in-one that we received was powered by an Intel Core i7-2600S running at 2.8GHz with 8GB of RAM. This was supplemented by an ATI Radeon HD 6450 video card with 1GB of graphical RAM, which displayed content on a 23-inch multi-touch LCD screen with a native resolution of 1920 by 1080 Rounding out the specs of this system is a 1TB hard drive spinning at 7200 RPM, and it also packs a Blu-ray player, full Wi-Fi support, a 6-in-1 card reader, and Beats Audio. One of the largest advantages of the TouchSmart 520 is the small footprint of the system. Thanks to its compact nature with everything built into the monitor, there's not a lot of space that's taken up by the all-in-one, which is barely larger than your standard 23-inch monitor. You won't have a ton of clutter either. Thanks to the included Wi-Fi support, wireless keyboard and mouse, you're only looking at one cable to power the entire system, which is great for people who hate wrangling cords. Plus, most recently released all-in-ones are designed to be easily portable to most rooms of your house. The TouchSmart 520 comes with a built-in handle to help you carry the computer. That means you can easily carry it from one part of your house to another without being confined by its weight, making the system much more versatile for families. We were struck by the performance of the TouchSmart 520, especially considering that the CPU has been underclocked significantly. Compared to the original Core i7-2600 that runs at 3.4GHz, the 2600S only runs at 2.8GHz. While it hosts less power, it still packs more than enough strength to run virtually every program available. Whether it was a CPU-intensive program or basic browsing, the TouchSmart 520 managed to handle our tests without any noticeable slowdown. We also noticed a lack of performance issues considering the Radeon HD 6450 video card. Whether it was watching HD streams or Blu-ray movies, we didn't find any hitches in video playback. However, if you were expecting to have higher end gaming, this is not the card for you. The HD 6450 is too underpowered for most games that are out right now, although it does do a solid job as a media center video card for HD content. HP isn't currently offering the HD 6450 anymore in configuration of the TouchSmart 520, so there are much more substantial video card options provided for this system. Speaking of displaying content, we did find the screen to be a strong component for the TouchSmart. We found that viewing angles were rather good, meaning it was possible for a group of people to gather around and watch a movie. There's some color shifting and image darkening depending on the angle you're looking at at the screen, but the on-screen images were sharp even at extreme angles. There's a bit of grain to the screen that makes it appear slightly blurry, but we attributed this to the touchscreen interface that helps with the multi-touch functionality, and we got accustomed to it. Gestures were accurate and responsive, and we found that the tracking of movements was particularly strong. We were also pleased that the software and the functionality from the 610 carried over to the TouchSmart 520. The TouchSmart Magic Canvas feature lets users pin notes, access various programs, surf the web, and do other functions. In effect, it turns the computer into a much more gesture-friendly system, and it combined with a virtual keyboard to interact with websites without needing to rely on a physical plank. Finally, we were really struck by the Beats audio inclusion for the speakers of the system. The speakers were incredibly loud during audio playback of movies or music. We never really had to turn the volume up to get room-filling sound, and we noticed that high and mid-tones were crisp and bass was solid and booming. We were really impressed by this, and it appears that HP is really taking advantage of Beats' presentation for its computers. So what didn't we like about the TouchSmart 520? Well, for one thing, we weren't thrilled by all of the bloatware on the system. The multimedia suite in TouchSmart software comes packed with tons of add-ons and extraneous programs that most users probably will want to uninstall as soon as they turn it on. But having to wade through the toolbars and the other programs is just time-consuming, especially considering that you're prevented from uninstalling some of the HP software because it's probably tied to the touchscreen and multimedia functionality. But the largest issue that we have with the TouchSmart 520 is a problem that's tied to most all-in-ones themselves, which is the lack of potential upgradability. 
It's virtually impossible to swap out components or upgrade features on these machines because the manufacturers pay significant attention to maximizing every bit of space to keep the system's footprint small. Considering that systems quickly get outdated because of the advancing pace of technology, users have to max out the specs of a system when they buy it because you're not going to get a stronger computer without fully getting a new machine. We found a lot to like with the HP TouchSmart 520 based on its power and its versatility. This is a capable multimedia system that works well in virtually any room in the house. It's also easy to carry with you wherever you want to go and place without taking up a ton of desk space thanks to its small footprint. Unfortunately, it comes with a ton of bloatware, and its lack of upgradability ensures its future obsolescence. But even with these notable disadvantages, we found a lot to like about the HP TouchSmart 520, which is why we decided to give it a 4 out of 5. For the latest news, reviews, coupons, and deals, be sure to follow us on Twitter at TechBargains or check out our Facebook page. And to watch all of our video reviews and video unboxings, be sure to go to techbargains.com YouTube.